reducing fractions another method to reduce the fraction in order to get the irreducible form is to find the factors of 25 and 40 so as you see i'm going to find the factors recording the factors. all of these are the factors of 25 and 40. let us try to find the gcf what do i mean by the gcf the greatest common factor the greatest common factor which is found in both numbers is 5. after finding the gcf which is I'm going to divide the top and the bottom of the fraction by the GCF. So I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by the GCF. So directly it's going to give me the irreducible form of this fraction. Okay? Let us take another example. I'm going to reduce the 12 and 36. So I'm going to find the factors of 12 and 36. You can find and you can use any method. I'm going to use the method of listing. So 12, 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, 4, and 36, 1, 36, 2, 18, 3, 12, 4, 9, and 6. So the GCF is 12. Okay? Now I'm going to divide both terms. Instead of dividing the first time by 2, the second time by 2, the third time by 3. Okay, I'm going directly to divide by 12. So I'm going to have 1 over 3, which is the irreducible form. The third exercise is 18 over 60. We are going to do it together. I'm going to use the listing method. 1, 18, 2, 9, 3, 6. 60, I have a lot of divisors. 1, 60, 2, 30, 3, 20, 4, I think it's 15, yes. Uh, 5, 5 five times 12, and 6 times 10. Those are the, the divisors. And uh, let us circle the common factors. So, as you see, the greatest common factor is 6. So, I'm going to divide both terms by 6. So, I'm going to get 3 over 10, which is an irreducible fraction.